Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a Cupertino tab bar. Basically, it allows you to create a tab bar in the format of iOS widgets. And that's what we've got so far. You don't need a navigation bar. I'll start with you of this guy from a previous video. And we're just going to add a tab bar right here. So, to do this, I think really simple. You just do child tab bar. Sorry, no, it's Cupertino tab bar. We're doing the Cupertino one. And um, we'll do this, we'll do the items now. So items. And for this, we put an array of bottom navigation bar item. And a square bracket. And this is just a list of items that we can put in here. So we just want to do bottom navigation bar right term and there's two you know properties that we need is the icon and the title you can mess around with the active icon and the background color i recommend doing that as an extra task for the icon i'm just going to put icons dot all right that's not how you add an icon it's icon i mean here you do icons dot oh, i forgot about that and is there one for home yeah let's do a home one and we need a title. This will be simple. Like so it's gonna be text. Oh actually it's gonna be you know text, but I'm gonna say home. And I'm gonna add free in total, but you can add as many as you want. And I'm gonna change this to something like menu. I'm gonna put that and I'm gonna put menu. And for this one, I'll do an account stop block. So account I feel like the one that looks like a supervisor account. And I'm just gonna call this one account. So let's save that and let's see what we get. Okay, so we got this well Cupertino tab bar. If I click on them, nothing actually is happening at the moment. We need to handle all of that ourselves. So what we can do is we can put a current index so current index is what is currently selected so if i say two by default it's on index two remember zero one two or so computer start and we can go to the on tap method which is pretty cool and then the on tap you have an int variable and of course index and now we can print out the index So if I click on this one, it prints a zero. If I click on this one, it prints a one. Click on this one, it prints a two. But it's still not changing. And to do that, we need to, uh, I can get rid of this from this or from a previous video. We need an integer variable, and I'm gonna call this state. Keep it simple. Set it to zero, so by default, it will be the first item. I'm gonna change the current index to the this state variable. And in here, you want to do set state equals, and I'm going to say state equals index. So that way, this will refresh it. So now, if I click it, as you can see, it is now changing. And obviously, for you can change the background color and the active icon as well. So, what would you want to do with this? You would naturally have some sort of view here and depending on which item you select you will show certain contents on a home page maybe some social network site like facebook for example or twitter you could show a feed on the home if you click on menu you could you know show you some menu options then i can you show your personal account options but as an extra task that's what i want you to do is hook it up with some content that is displayed basically depending on what the index is if you have any questions and you need some assistance feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video